Hey everyone, another little uh, tip for you for using DP, Digital Performer Mode 2. Uh, this one is to do with changing the tempo of audio. Now, I use this a lot because I like to use uh, loops, drum loops that I find from uh, online. Uh, in particular today, I'm going to be using a loop from IWantThatSound.com, um, a fellow by the name of Paul Mabry. Aussie in Nashville making great drum loops. But anyway, I've got a sequence here. I'm going to play to you uh, the tempo up here. It's 84 beat, beats per minute. It's a little Rhodes part with a click. You can hear that ticking away there. And what I want to do is what I want to do is add a drum loop to that. Now my drum loop is over here in the sound bites window. If you don't know how to do that, the keystroke is shift B is to bring up your sound bites and the loop is here. And the loop is not the same tempo as, as my sequence, which is at 84 beats per minute. You can see that up here. So what I'm going to do is put a marker in here and simply add another uh, tempo to my conductor track and I'm going to drag the loop in to um, my little track here which is called guide drums and what I'm going to do is use I'm going to use this little part of the sequence to determine the tempo now sometimes you know the tempo of the sound bite if you double click on it you can actually go to uh, Analyze sound bite tempo, but I'm assuming that you don't know the tempo. If you do know the tempo, you can click set sound bite tempo and type it in. In this case, I do know it's 75 beats per minute, but say you didn't know that, um, you could use a part of the sequence by um, to to determine the tempo. And the way I'm going to do that is set up in the conductor track. I'm using the conductor uh, to change the tempo here. And over here, using the events list, if I just click on the conductor track and click Shift E, opens up my event list over here. And <clears throat> at the moment, I've got a guess in there at 130 BPM. I'm going to change that to, say, 80 and have a guess of the tempo. Okay, so as you can hear, the click and the, the loop are not matching up in tempo. So eventually, I would type in 75 beats per minute because that's the actual tempo loop. Okay, and you can hear now that the loop and the click are lining up really nicely. And as I zoom in on the tracks window using command arrows, I can see that, yeah, sure enough, the, the kicks and the snare hits are lining up beautifully with the, with the tempo set 75. So that's my little detective work in working out the tempo of, of that loop. As I double click on it there, I'm just going to, oh, it's open in the sequence window, or Apple, oh, sorry, Shift S to open that window. And now I'm actually going to tell DP the tempo of that soundbite. And I'm going to set the soundbite tempo. Now in here, it may not have something originally, I'm going to type in 75. And that's going to tell DP that's what the tempo of that loop is. And now... <clears throat> I'm going to copy that loop by selecting it and Apple C of course and then go back to my the other part in the song where that where I had the roads and the click and I'm going to paste it in there uh, yes it's saying oh, it's not the same as what you're pasting so I'm just going to try that again paste that in there great now you can hear that loop still not correct and what I'm going to do is simply select that soundbite and I'm going to go up here to adjust sound bites to sequence tempo. Now this will only work if you've previously set the soundbite tempo. But now it'll it'll shift my 75 beats per minute loop to 84 beats per minute because that's what up here the tempo of this part of the sequence is. So adjust sound bites sequence tempo. DP does its thinking. You'll see it grayed out for a minute and then it'll come good. And now it's turned my soundbite into the right tempo. 
So obviously, like I said, if you knew the tempo of the loop as you dragged it into DP, then it would be easy to define it by <coughs> simply setting the soundbite tempo by typing it in. My little technique of determining the tempo by using a click track and using um, the conductor track to guess a few tests or you know guesstimate the tempo till you work it out also works and just setting the tempo that way and then taking it to the part of the sequence you want to use it and adjusting sound bites to sequence tempo is what I just did there hopefully that makes sense guys hopefully that's helpful catch you next time please like and subscribe cheers